installing various open source tools. So we will start with cloning the GitHub repository. And after that, we will be installing various dependencies with sudo apt-get install command as shown here. And then let us see, we have already installed the yourses folder. So in so this is the yourses folder, various files in this. And, and inside the yourses folder, uh, we will be using the make command to install our yourses as shown here. So first we will run make config gcc and after that we will run uh, the make command as shown here. So this installation will take time. So now how we will uh, invoke Yosis, let us see. So as you can see, we have successfully installed Yosis. So now we will install ng-spice using this command. we will install gtk wave so we will use the command sudo apt get install gtk wave and then to invoke it we will use gtk wave dash v as shown here we will install gtk wave so we will use the command sudo apt get install gtk wave and then to invoke it we will use gtk wave dash v as shown here in this video, we will be learning how to use open source chip design tools like um, GTK Wave, Yosis. So, how, so we have implemented simple designs like Ripple for Ripple Carry Adder or Four Bit, and in this design, we implemented a half adder, and with the help of half adder, we implemented full adder. And using that, we implemented a 4-bit triple carry adder. And we designed a test bench. So in this test bench, we implement we created the dump pair file. So what this this we implemented a system task called as dump pair. So what this dump pair do? So it is a system task in Verilog that is used to specify variables or signals in your design which should be recorded during simulation. When you run a simulation, dump pair helps you capture the values of these signals over time which can be written to a VCD file. So now what this VCD file is? So VCD stands for value change dump. A VCD file is a standard file format used to store the changing val values of variables or signals in a digital design during simulation. So this file is incredibly useful for visualizing signal waveforms and debugging your designs as it provides a time-based record of how signals change. So after implementing the design, uh, we run the command iverilog-o 
and this added dot p is our design we implemented and added tv is the test bench we designed we saw just now and uh, what is this output file for adder so when we compile these two designs adder.v and adder test bench so we get the output file which you can see here this is that file so we get so our output gets stored in, so our compiled output gets stored in this so now after this we run the vvp and this output file we got, got here and then we run the gtk wave command but here we got this fail to load module uh, error so how we can solve this error so so you can simply run this sudo apt install this command as shown here so after that when you run this gtk wave then you will not get that error so how what kind of output we got let us see it so So this is our implementation we got. So in this video, we will be using Yosis to synthesize our design. So we will first invoke the tool by typing Yosis, and then with the help of read underscore liberty command, and we will specify our location of our tech file so which we have here so this is our tech file we have specified its location here and then we read the our design here and then we synthesize our top level design as shown here top module of our design and then we get output like this so these are the statistics of our design after that to get the gate levels netlist for the target library we use abc bash liberty and the location of our tech file so then we get our netlist and we write it on a on a file with the help of a command write underscore very long this and command we use to write the netlist into a file so let us see what kind of netlist we got so this is our netlist and then we generated a graph with design of the design graph with representation of the design also so this is how we got it 